Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to scale an object in Adobe Photoshop Elements using the guided mode. So if you use the expert mode, you might know how to do this, but if you want a kind of a wizard way of doing it, you could use the uh, guided mode and it'll show you step by step what you need to do. So once you open your picture, switch to guided mode, and then under the basics section, look for move and scale object and click on that. And then you'll have your auto and your quick method here. So depending on how fine your edges are, how distinct it is, you know, if there's a lot of background stuff blending in, it's going to be a lot harder to do this. And you might want to, you know, try one of these different options to see what works the best for you. But for this one, I should be able to use the auto and just draw a rectangle around the dog. And then it selected it. And if you're missing some parts, see the bottom of the feet there. I don't know if you can really see that uh, were missed. You could click on add here and just kind of draw a box around it there to have it kind of pick up the other stuff that it missed. So that looks pretty good there. So now we're going to either move or duplicate it. So if you want to make a copy, you could do duplicate, but we're just going to move. And now we'll kind of draw this dotted line box around it. So we're going to move the dog way over here and then shrink it down to rescale it. Like that looks about right. Maybe a little smaller right there. And when you do that, it'll get rid of the original one here. And then if you need to touch up anything, you could use the spot healing brush, uh, which kind of tries to match the environment here, or you could do the clone stamp. So if we do this, let's see what this does. That does a pretty good job there. And let's say, let's undo that, and we'll show you the uh, clone stamp here. So the clone stamp, you just need to hold down Alt to select the area you want to clone and just kind of draw around it and then when you let go you could just kind of fill in and you can see that x there it's copying whatever is around there so you sometimes you want to go farther away from it to kind of pick up the area so you're not cloning the stuff you're trying to get rid of like that and then when you're done you just click on next and then you could either save or save as or you could continue editing in quick mode or in expert mode let's say we go to expert mode here then we could take it from there. So once again, uh, open your picture in guided mode. Under basics, move and scale. Pick one of these two tools for uh, selecting the object. You'll have to see which one works better for your situation here. And like I said, the more distinct the edges are in the object, the better it's going to work. Then you could either add more to the uh, object if it cut some stuff off or subtract if it took too much, you know, if, let's say it took part of the grass then you could uh, cut that off with the subtract button here and then move or duplicate, you know, resize it. And then use either the spot healing brush or the clone stamp to kind of fine tune the leftover part where it removed it from. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.